Hello everybody. I guess it's still morning, so good morning. <sighs> Today is Wednesday, August the 24th, 2016. It's 11.21 a.m. in the morning time. I woke up, I guess, about 7-something. I'm a little chilly right now. I think I need to go turn my air down. <laughs> hurting a little bit. Oh, I'm still hurting a little bit. But I got on up. Couldn't lay there anymore. Just kind of been in slow-mo mood this morning. But I prayed, took my medicine, prayed, <gasps> read my Bible, and I even made myself get on the treadmill and walk. Walked for eight minutes. I uh, put some clothes on to wash. But that as far as I got with any kind of house cleaning chores. Just not in the mood. Don't feel like it. Yeah, the kitchen's dirty and needs to be cleaned up. But I don't feel like it. I have a headache. Uh... I have updated my planner. I'm working on it every day. So I've got a lot more pages done. As y'all can see, this is today. Both of these pages is today. And so I'm still continuously Working in it, putting washi tape on the edges, you know, of both pages. Each day, I turn the page and I use the two pages to write everything down that I'm going to do that day and check it off as I do it. So there you go. I've even got it sectioned off into... See, I draw a squiggly line, and MR is morning routine, so this up here is morning routine. Then this squiggly line is midday routine here. And then starting here, night routine, which continues on over here. And then I have this, because all of that that I write... It's things I do every day. Okay. It don't change. This, you know, over here. This, what I write on this little, and it says to do today. It's like the certain hobbies, the certain crafts, the certain type of videos that I want to make that day. If I get all that done... I check it that I done it. If I don't get it done, I still want to do it. I just didn't get to do it that day. So I put that mark on it that points it to go this way to the next page to move it over to the next day. And as I do, see like I've already done all of my, not over there, all of my morning routine. So I go ahead, so I don't have to sit down at, every night at the end of the day and write everything down. I go ahead then and I come over here and I start writing it down and filling it out for that next day. Because see, I've got the rest of it to do as I come to it today. Then I'll come over here and write it down over here. And the stars means those things are very important to do. And, uh... But with doing this, I'm finding that's getting tiring every single day 
to write that list down. So, I am seriously thinking about... I'm just not quite sure how to yet. My eyes are running, y'all. Hang on. I would like to figure out a way to still use the two-page spread, but instead of for one day, use it for a whole week. but have room to write everything. For instance, in a way, I guess continue, you know, make the list, and I keep going to the wrong page, make the list like I do. But instead of marking it off, say, on the front of it, in front of it, that I've done it for that one day, maybe put it at the end of it, if I had enough room, but y'all see I write big and I don't hardly leave enough space, I would need seven blocks at the end, or seven dots, because I like this to do it this way with the dots. I would need seven space behind all of them to put seven dots, and above those, or if I could figure another way to do it that would be easier, I don't know. Above those, I would want like M for Monday, T for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, and so on. So that it would be for every day that week. And it would be seven days a week, not five days a week. Seven days a week, because I do it every day like that. And have the dots so that over here for that amount of days to check each day that I've done that. And let it be last for one week and only write this stuff down once a week instead of every single day because that is getting tiring. But I'm not quite sure how I want to do that. If anybody out there has any suggestions on that, how I could do that to make it easy and fun in my planner. Because I need a daily thing. I need to check off daily. But like I said, writing it down daily is getting tiring. So if I could write it down weekly, one time a week, but still let it be a daily thing to check off every day. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If y'all have any ideas on that, I would appreciate y'all letting me know in the comments below. Or if you need to make me a video for me to watch so that I would understand it better, go for it. <laughs> okay, another thing. In the very back, and I think I've showed y'all this before, I turned to the very last page. And, you know, the bullet journaling, if any of you know it's about bullet journaling, journaling, it's the style of the dot and checking it off and then the little thing that you point. It's the greater than and lesser than signs that I remember learning in school. <laughs> See, I do have a little bit of school smarts. <laughs> May not be a whole lot. Right. That's probably a very low grade thing because I didn't get very high in school. I really wished I could finish school. I really, really, really do. Anyway, um, but those signs, but you point it, the point, you know, it's a sideways V. So you point the point of the sideways V like an arrow towards what way you want that to go when you're moving something over from day to day or whatever. That's part of bullet journaling. The other part is in the back of it you have um, what they call collections and trackers. So this here was ideals that I was coming up with to make collections and trackers and I just wrote it all down but each one I boxed in. But then I went on, not right then, I mean this stayed just this for a while and it wasn't even all filled up at one time. I only wrote a few things down and then it waited a couple of days and then I thought of more and wrote and filled it all in. 
then it went a couple more days then I said okay I'm gonna start doing this and which I allowed a few more pages because see I've got that one filled up already so in case I came up with any more ideals or more I wanted to do I left me some blank pages going this way yell backwards because it's in the back at the last page so that I could write more ideals down so I started right here if I can get it turned down right. And I haven't started using this tracker yet. I'm not ready to start using this tracker yet. But I wanted to go ahead and fix it down in my book. And that's how I want to do all of them. I want to go ahead and fix all the trackers and collections down. Uh, I understand the trackers better than the collections really. Or either to me it kind of seems like the collections are almost the same as the trackers. I really don't know. I get confused on things. But this is the first one I fixed. So this is washi tape and it's the chalkboard style. So I wrote on it and then I trimmed around it with some other pretty washi tape. So this tracker is a weight loss tracker. And the way I've done it, because I searched and I found some, and the way I've done it, I know it's crazy. At the top up here where you would normally start, I've put my weight that I would love to be, that I have read several times, several different places, that for my height, which is 4'11", and my build of body, I guess. I think I found this out at Weight Watchers or Nutrisystem one time years ago when I had went on one of those diets. I've been on so many all through my years. Anyway, I found out that the weight of 125 is my perfect weight that I should be. And that's what I would love to be. Now granted, I understand. I will probably never ever ever be the weight of 125 again in my whole lifetime but I still it's fun to put this down and have this tracker here like this so where is the burst of it right here so there I put 125 and y'all don't mind my handwriting so I skipped over I didn't want it to all be side beside each other and bunched up and messy looking and couldn't hardly read it and understand it. So you see how I skipped beside and between and stuff. So the next one of course is the higher weight. 126, 127. I'm not gonna call them all off. So I went this away with it. And some people continues it on like this continually and goes with it, but I didn't do that. Like this last one over here is 133, so I came over here and did 134, and then so on. When you get down to the end over here, it's 196, and I ran out of space. Where's it at? Not in view. Right here. 196. Ran out of space. So this is what I done. I went right here. 197, 198, 199. And I came on up the side. And then I went across the top right here. Now the last time I went to the doctor's to my doctor's visit and they weighed me. Think I remember it saying 216 pounds. I know that's awful, but I'm not for sure. And I could have gained more since then, hopefully, not or lost a few since then, maybe. Hopefully, but since I didn't know and wasn't for sure, I stopped it at 210. Now I do have enough space to go on to the one, I mean 216, but if I hadn't gained any more, 
but I'm gonna wait. And when I do exactly get ready to start using this, trying to use lose the weight, weighing and checking off, you know, coloring in. I want to color in with a marker or a color because the marker is probably going to go through this paper and I won't like that. But color in every block of every pound that I lose. And so when I am ready to start that, I will weigh and find out exactly how much I weigh and go ahead and fill in and get that weight in, that right weight in. Okay, so I've done that. Now, all of these others, other trackers and collections, well, it's on back here on the last page again. Back here, I want to work on and figure out and, you know, go backwards with it and fill all the pages in and get those in there ready for when I'm ready to start actually using and tracking them, you know. So, I hope to work on that. I gotta search each one to find the best way I'm gonna like and it would be easy for me to track them, you know. There's a lot of different ways to track a lot of different trackers and, I guess, collections. So, I worked on that this morning. I've also checked my email and answered. <sighs> and I have another new subscriber. So, this is her. She's got a pretty banner, and there's a picture up here, and it says Rebecca Mutter. Anybody out there know Rebecca? Let me know. Um, I see little children, and it looks like, you know, it's a man and a lady. They look like a young couple, though. She don't have her buttons. This is her uploads, so she only has three videos. The three videos is a young teenage girl, says her name is Nicole Tillman. So I don't know, I mean, because to me, this picture of this family kind of don't, I mean, you know, that's little kids. These two look like boys. That Nicole, I don't think, is the mom, but... Who knows? I mean, I don't know the connection there. But anyway, Rebecca Mutter, thank you for subscribing to me. Welcome to my channel, and I hope you will enjoy all of my fun, crazy videos of my fun, crazy self. At least I try to be fun and crazy anyway. Sometimes I am, sometimes I ain't. Like right now, I'm not. All right, guys. Y'all go check out Rebecca Mutter. Okay, on to the next thing. What is the next thing? It's for me to make my video. Well, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Videos. So this is my vlog video, which is ending up being very long, 18 minutes and something, almost 19. Uh, I do want to put up a slideshow of Gracie. I know I said that yesterday. I didn't get up to doing all these that I wanted to do. I need to get back to my mystery project videos. I don't know, but we'll see. It, it all depends how I feel. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, my vlog yesterday, I worked on it all day long on YouTube trying to upload it. Didn't get it up till late last night. So, it also depends on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, guys. I am out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm gone. Toodaloo.